what impact is climate having on the oceans and what can we do about it? I think I should turn that question around and say, what impact is the ocean having on climate? Because the climate is driven by the ocean. No ocean, I mean, take away the ocean, what have you got? A planet that's a lot like Mars, really. I mean, Mars is smaller than Earth, but Earth is governed very largely because we're an ocean planet. World is blue, to coin a phrase. <laughs> it is. Um, average depth, two and a half miles, four kilometers, maximum 11 kilometers, seven miles down. And the ocean is where most of the action is. It's not just where most of the water is, it's where most of life on Earth is. It's where the greatest diversity of life is. And, but for the ocean, why, how could there be clouds? <laughs> it might be clouds of something other than water. I mean, there are clouds on other planets, methane clouds and things, but, you know, we have a planet that is shaped, the chemistry of it, the temperature, the, the ocean is Earth's great thermal regulator. Holds heat, releases it slowly. Holds cold, releases it gradually. The air is much more, you know, flexible or uh, more quickly responds to, to temperature. And so the ocean holds the planet steady. The ocean governs climate, governs the weather. So we should be asking, so tell us about the ocean and how it <laughs> distributes heat with the ocean currents. Think of this, that most of life on Earth lives in the dark all of the time. And I don't mean just places like Washington, D.C. I'm, 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 I'm talking a thousand feet underwater <laughs> or more. And the, the average depth is two and a half miles. How much, you know? We're looking at the skin of the ocean that is illuminated half the time, or more, something like half the time, when the sun is around. But below that, it's dark. That's where most of light, and it's cold, even in the tropics. You get to a thousand feet, there's a temperature drop of whatever it is at the surface. Maybe it's 30 degrees centigrade. <laughs> and at a thousand feet, it may be 12 degrees centigrade. And you get down close to the bottom, it's near freezing, never quite freezing, because if it's freezing, ice forms, and ice is lighter than water, and it comes back up to the surface. So that's part of the miracle of water, that it has all these forms of ice and vapor and liquid. And you see it in, in places like the Arctic and the Antarctic, where you have all three forms right there all the time.